Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon, part of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group. And today we're going to do a short video on how to manually install a Cell Gateway 1.8 certificate on System Platform 6.0, 6.0 Service Pack 1, Service Pack 2, and Service Pack 3. Cell Gateway 1.8 certificate and System Platform 6.0. First, you need to understand in general that certificates will have an expiration date. Periodically, we're going to have to update the VeriSign certificates that's used between the cell gateway and enterprise server and how they talk. Product correction notice or PCN 1873 details that for the current certificate update we need to do for cell gateway 1.5, 1.8, or 2.0. And it also deals with the embedded cell gateway that resides on system platform 6.0. That happens to be cell gateway 1.8. Our focus today will be on this System Platform 6.0 Embedded Cell Gateway. The impact on System Platform is the GA load of System Platform 6.0, Service Pack 1, Service Pack 2, and Service Pack 3 prior to Patch 4. Patch 4 or greater contains the certificate update. The options for the customer or and or the installer are they can upgrade to System Platform 6.03 if applicable and apply patch 4 or greater. If they're at 6.03 and the product supports that, that's much easier to do and you should do that. They also have the option to just manually apply their certificate and that's the process I am going to go through today. So first we're going to browse to support.avi.com. We're going to download PCN 1873. We'll see if the PCN applies, which it does. System Platform 6.0 contains Cell Gateway 1.8. We're going to scroll to how to determine if your product's affected, and it's by release, and then we'll scroll to the provisioning instructions. So again, we scroll down to how to determine if your product's affected, and again, we got to go to our release 1.8, and we're going to follow the steps, and then we'll scroll to the provisioning instructions if they apply. We'll follow these steps. The key in here, though, is the PLDS publication ID, which will help us download the certificate. Next, we'll go to PLDS to download the certificate. As you can see, I already went to PLDS. I used that publication ID to help search for the certificate, and I downloaded the certificate to my laptop. First thing we did was we SSH into CDOM. As you can see right there, we're going to log in as admin. We enter the admin password. We want to find out what the software version is first. Type SW version, and you can see we're at 6.03 patch 3. So 6.03, it's 1.8 cell gateway. Patch 3 does not have the certificate updates, so we're going to move forward. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change our directory. So we change our directory to opt via cell gateway SSL. I always like to type PWD to see what directory I'm in. So PWD, and I'm in the correct directory, Optivize Cell Gateway SSL. Next, we're going to type the following command. Key tool space dash list space dash store pass space avaya123 space dash key store space spirit dash trust dot JKS. And this tells me that our key store contains eight entries. I know from the PCN that there should be 13 and that the five listed in the box to the right are not part of this. So this certificate needs to be updated. Next step will be to copy the file to CDOM and get ready to manually update the certificate. So I launch WinSCP. I log in to CDOM as admin. As you can see on the right, I'm in the home admin directory for admin. On the left is my laptop. I scroll to the folder where the file's at. So see Mike's cell folder. And I'm going to highlight the cert manual install underscore 2003.tar.gz file. And I'm going to drag it right across to the CDOM's home admin directory. I'm going to copy it. And you can see the cert manual install 2003.tar.gz is in the home admin directory of CDOM. So after I copied the file, I'm now going to SSH into CDOM, log in as admin. I want to see what directory I'm in, so PWD, I'm in the home admin. LS-L to make sure I did copy the file across, and I did. Cert manual install 2003.tar.gz. The PCN tells us that we need to be logged in as root to be able to copy and untar that file. So we're going to SU to root. 
root password. Again, what directory I'm in, PWD. I'm in the base root directory, so I need to CD to a home admin. Again, I'm in the home admin directory, so PWD, ls-l, so I can see what I'm typing. And there it is, cert manual install 2003. Now I'm going to copy. So I run the command copy, the file name, space, forward slash optivia cell gateway upgrade models. We're now going to change our directory to the optivia cell gateway upgrade models where we just copied the file to. PWD to make sure we're in the correct directory, and we are. LS-L so we can see that the file is in it and we can use that to type. At this point you need to read the PCN very carefully because we're going to change ownership and there's a different command, one entry that's different in a cell standalone gateway and a system platform cell. System platform cell will use the S users. So CH own space cell user colon S users in the file name. Then we're going to SU to the cell user. At this point we're going to untire the file. So tar space xvfz space in the file name. Files untired. We're now going to run a Perl script. So Perl space cert install dot pl. And it starts basically the script running. It'll take approximately five minutes for the script to complete. As you can see, the cert install was complete. Next section we're going to go and we're going to cat that cell gateway upgrade cert upgrade log shown there. And after that we'll restart the three services. As we saw previously the cert install script was completed. What we're going to do is we're going to cat that file, that log that came up there. So we can show you how to get that if you need that information. So we're going to type in cat space optivia cell gateway upgrade cert underscore upgrade dot log. And we're going to pipe it to more. And this will tell us what was pushed out in the script. So first you can see the Exita cert upgrade script started. Right, you see the trusted authorities XML output. You see the spirit cert upgrade script started. You see where the Exita upgrade script completed. And then finally you see the other information and what got pushed across in the cert update script complete. Next we're going to have to log out of cell user because we have to be as root to restart the services. So exit. In his root, we type SPIN service exit agent restart. Next, we type in SPIN service spirit agent restart. And lastly, we type in SPIN service gateway UI restart. At this point, we've installed the certificate. All three services have been restarted. We've completed the manual install of the certificate on System Platform 6.0 for Cell Gateway 1.8. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentoradvai.com or on Twitter at AvayaMentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avai.com. Again, thanks for choosing Avaya.